Hey, what's up guys, Mij HD here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lufthansa 747-8 in the Retro Livery by Gemini Jets in a 1 to 200 scale. Check the description in case you missed anything throughout this video. My Facebook and Twitter links will be down there, as well as the website where I pre-ordered this from, which was easytoys.com. This is my 19th 747 model, and it's my second Lufthansa model. Some information about Lufthansa. The operations base is out of Cologne in Germany. Main hubs are Frankfurt Airport and Munich Airport. They were founded in 1953 and commenced operations in 1955. Their fleet as of the 17th of February 2016 consists of 264 aircraft, 32 are 747s, 13 of which are 747-400s and 19 are 747-8s. They serve 220 destinations worldwide and their current 747-8 routes are from Frankfurt to Bangalore, Beijing, Buenos Aires, Chicago O'Hare, Johannesburg OR Tambo, Newark, New York JFK, Mexico City, Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo Gorojos, Tokyo Haneda, and Washington Dulles. This aircraft's first flight was on the 14th of February 2015 and de delivered to Lufthansa on the 20th of March 2015. And the Boeing customer code for Lufthansa is 30. Alright, so let's take a look around the box here. So we've got Gemini 200, a picture of the aircraft, Lufthansa 747-8, ABYT and Korn. 200 scale diecast aircraft model. On the back, got the standard, you know, just um, explaining what the models are about and the licensing, all that kind of stuff. On the top of the box. The right side, the bottom, and the left. Right, so let's take a look inside the box here. And there's the model. Alright guys, so the model is now out of the box, and um, so Lufthansa's retro livery was originally introduced in 1968 and was applied to this exact aircraft before delivery to celebrate Lufthansa's 60th anniversary since restarting in post-World War II. Okay, so let's start here at the cockpit windows on the port side. Right, so we've got cockpit windows, winner wipers, pedo tube static ports, Lufthansa logo, Star Alliance logo because they're a member of the Star Alliance group, which is a group of 27 airlines. We've got YT on the nose gear door. I just, um, just got a slight issue with the gear here. I've had a slight issue with all my 747-8s as of, as of um, yet. Uh, you know, the Air China one had a bent wingtip. Cathay Pacific 747-8 Freighter had um, a gear issue which I can't remember, so I've said, I think I've said it in the video and um, this one here has a, a gear issue on its nose they are getting better so hopefully in my next um, 747-8 which is Lufthansa in their current livery that, that will um, be perfect, I wouldn't expect any flaws with that but here's the issue, so that's sitting in its correct position right now but if I was to roll the gears forward, you can see it just moves backwards because it's it's pivoting on the magnet inside. So that's basically the issue. And um, it's a display model, so it's not meant to be rolled around really, even though it does have rolling gears. But um, yeah, that's that's just the slight issue I have. Just got to find the right position for it, and then it should just hold like that. Okay, so now we have. The Lufthansa titles, got the nice blue cheat line under it. The inboard realistic landing lights. This is a General Electric GE NX 2B67 engine with the Lufthansa logo on it. Let's take a look inside the engine. Okay, we've got the inboard. Uh, engine stroke, engine blade spin, a 
Okay, so they all spin. And if you look on the front of the aircraft, so we've got the iconic black um, nose cone. Then on the gears, see the landing lights. Continuing along the wing to the right flex wingtip, we've got the red navigation light. Back onto the fuselage. The blue cheat line continues to the rear of the aircraft where we've got Boeing 747-8, registration number DAVYT or Delta Alpha Bravo Yankee Tango. Lufthansa logo on the tail with the German flag because they're a flag carrier of Germany and part of the registration number YT. Got the APU there with the strobe light underneath the APU exhaust. Looks very nice. Now onto the cockpit windows on the starboard side now. Um, Peter Tube static ports and we've got the Lufthansa logo, Star Alliance logo, part of the registration there on the gear door, front cargo container door, Lufthansa titles. Um, also, I've missed it on the other side, it does say on the other side as well. There's a logo there, I'm not sure if it says anything or what it says. And then we've got the aircraft name there, um, hopefully it's clear enough. That's probably the best I can get it. It says Colin. It also says on the box Colin. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, so Colin is the German uh, word and pronunciation for um, the English version Cologne, which is Germany's fourth largest city. Inboard realistic landing lights. On the engine there, we've got the Lufthansa logo. And also the chevrons, of course, help every you know mix the mix the uh, exhaust air and the uh, caudal by bypass air um, a lot more efficiently, um, and uh, it improves the statistics for the engine. Love times a logo on that engine as well. Green navigation light on this wingtip. Rear cargo container door, bulk bin, bulk bin door, um, Boeing 747-8, registration number, and the logo on the tail. Alright, let's take a look underneath this aircraft now. So we've got the nose gear. Naka ducks, Gemini Jets logo, beacon light hole for the stand, main gears, gear doors. Underneath the wing here, flaps, slats, ailerons, this little piece sticking out right here, that's the fuel dump valve, underneath the engines, same on this side. Continuing down, two antennas, those two grey squares that are cut into the aircraft, um, they're the cabin pressure relief valves, another antenna and the APU housing. What have we got here? On the top we've got, it looks like the uh, escape hatch for the pilots. Anti-collision lights, antenna, the Wi-Fi box on the wing, flaps, slats, ailerons, and spoilers. If you look in the on these black lines, there is breaks in the lines, so it's sort of like dashes, but it's actually words. I'm not sure what the words say. I don't. I think they're too small to be um, written properly on there, but. Um, Pretty sure they would say do not walk outside this area, something similar. Ok, 
Okay, continuing down. Antenna, another antenna. Two grey dots each side of, on the horizontal stabilizers. So there's two right here. And that side. They're the logo lights that light up the tail at night time. Okay, now let's go through the seating of the aircraft. So we have version one, <coughs> upper deck, business class, 32 flatbed seats, rows 81 to 88, that's the, that's the entire upper deck. Main deck, first class, eight open suites, rows one to three. That's from here to here. Then we have um, economy, no, sorry, business class, 48 flat bed seats. No, sorry, 60 flat bed seats. <clears throat> Rows 4 to 12 and row 14. That is from here to here. Here to here is all economy. 262 seats, rows 21 to 49. Total of 362 seats. Version 2, upper deck, uh, business class, 32 flat bed seats, rows 81 to 88. That's the entire upper deck again. Main deck, first class, eight open suites, rows one to three, same place again. Then we have business class, 48 flat bed seats, rows four to 11. That's from about here to here. And here all the way to the back of the aircraft, it's all economy. And that is 298 seats, rows 16 to 18. <coughs> and uh, 21 to 49, total of 386 seats. Version 3, which is this registered aircraft. Upper deck, 32 flatbed seats, rows 81 to 88. Main deck, first class, 8 open suites, rows 1 to 3. Let's see, here to here. Uh, <clears throat> business class, 48 flatbed seats, rows 4 to 11. That's from here to here. Then we have... <clears throat> Premium economy, 32 seats, rows 22 to 25. Now it's a bit weird because it's about here to here. Then there's economy, 244 seats, rows 16 to 18. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> rows 16 and 18 to 20 and 27 to 49. So it's from actually here to here and then here to about here. So it's 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 a bit weird. Um, got the economy, so sorry, premium economy right in the middle of economy, and that's a total of three hundred sixty-four seats. And then version four, the last one, that's upper deck again, business class, thirty-two flat bed seats, rows eighty-one to eighty-eight. Main deck, first class, eight open suites, rows one to three. Here to here. Uh, business class, sixty flat bed seats, rows four to twelve, and row fourteen. That's from. Here to here. Uh, premium economy, 32 seats, rows 22 to 25. That's from here to about here. Here all the way to the back of the aircraft is economy. 208 seats, rows 27 to 49. That's a total of 340 seats. Alright guys, so some features. I've already showed you it rolled. Um, tilts. And the nose gear does swivel around. Okay, so now for the stand. So it's just a basic Gemini Jet stand. This is the A318 747-8 stand. Gemini Jet's logo. I've already removed the blue film before. But there is usually blue film on the back too protect the uh, metal on the back. I'll put it on the stand. Also, I forgot to mention, there is padding on top of the stand. It's always the um, <coughs> like kind of foam padding, so it doesn't scratch the paint underneath. So that's what it looks like on the stand. Let's raise this up a bit. The gears can be removed, magnetically removable. With this this nose gear um, slightly tougher to get in. 
they can all be removed. And when you want it in the in-flight position, you have gear doors here. So that's pretty much going to be it for this review guys, I hope you have enjoyed, please leave a like if you did, comment, um, tell me what you think of this model, tell me if you're going to get it, I highly recommend getting it, it's a beautiful model, the gear issue, that slight gear issue won't bother me at all, I just thought I'd raise it in case um, you guys might have the same problem, it's just the magnets pivoting on the inside, but you know it's not a problem. Subscribe for more. I have three more videos on the way, three more reviews on the way with a special um, video, plane spotting video. Check out my previous three reviews and my in flight video from Auckland to Melbourne. And share this video so other people can know about this model and see if they want to get it as well. Anyway, guys, I do really hope you have enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time.